Hi, Dress Up Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw my Dress Up Cute Girl Celebrating Fall number two. So let's get started. To draw this cute girl, let's first start by drawing her eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a circle. And then I'm going to come right across, say about right here, and draw another circle. So the reason we're starting with her eyes first this time rather than her face is because she has hair that's in her face. So I think it's just a little bit easier to start with the eyes. So from there, let's make them draw so cute eyes. So I'm going to come in here with two small circles for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. at the bottom and same thing over here. There, now that we have the eyes in, let's come to the sides right here. I'm just going to spruce them up with some lashes. I'll just draw two simple lashes, curve, and another one right here. From there, I'm going to come about right here in the center area and give her a smile. So about right here, just draw a little curve, goes up a little bit, and cap it off. Then let's go ahead and start to frame her face. So usually the bottom of the U would start at the top right here because like I said, there's a strand of hair. I'm going to come to maybe about the center of her eye and give myself a point and do the same thing over here. And then I'm going to basically just draw as if I was drawing the bottom of a U all the way down. So we just want to end a little bit underneath her mouth, not too far down. So about right there, center, and then curve right back up. There. So now that we have that, let's bring this up right here. And from there, I'm going to imagine an oval for her face. So I'll just say about right, uh, right here. I'm just going to give myself a point. And in this area, I'm going to come down with a curve for that strand of hair that's giving us all these problems. <laughs> so I'm going to come right here, touch her eye, and come down. And then this side is just going to come down to create and finish her face but right there. So then let's come back. Um, and so this is going to be like the start, the top of her, her little hat here. So I'm going to come up and around there so then let's come back to her brow so let's come above her eyeball right here and I'm just going to draw a soft curve right over and same thing on the other side there okay so then now we can go ahead I'm just going to finish this strand right here I'm just going to curve it out little curve and out and then we can go ahead and start her hat so this side is going to continue down just going to bring this curve down over her head and let's start about right here we're going to go up i'm going to wobble a little bit right here as well wobble a little bit and then i'm going to go around so about right here let's bring this up and around right there and then one more layer so we go up again another curve and bring it down there and then at the top if you like you can add a little poof ball and if you want to do that you just use these little lines right here just to make it look extra poofy <laughs> instead of just like a harsh line that way you can make it look give it some texture there okay so then now that we have that in we can go ahead and 
In this area right here is where I'm going to put in her hair. So I'm just going to curve and about right here I'll pop out her other side. But before I finish all that, let's come back and uh, draw her body. So let's come to the center right here. We give her a little neck right in the center. And about right here, I'm going to go ahead and draw a curve that comes down to cut it off. And we're going to try, uh, draw her scarf. So let's come back right here and going to wobble a little bit. And now let's go this way. Let's bring this down. And about right here, and wobble again and connect. And then from there, let's draw her shoulders. So about right here, I'm going to pop them out and down. Right here. And down. So then from there, we can go ahead and imagine where her armpits would be. So let's just say about right here and here. And from there, I'm going to draw her arms. So this comes in because she's holding her hands together. This is going to come in. And same thing here. There, so just bringing these curves in. And I'll work on this one first because this one's on the foreground. So about right here towards the center, about right here. I'm going to flare it out a little bit for her sleeves, extra long sleeves, and then cut it off. And then for her hand, just a little indication of her hand. So just a little curve right there, just to make it easier to draw. And then just bring this part in here. And we're just going to tuck this in so we don't have to draw too many details. Then from there, let's draw the rest of her sweater. So imagine her body, so about right here. So I'll pop this out, give it a little curve and in. It's the same thing here. Give it a little curve. And in. And about right there, I'm going to cut it off. A little wobble. There. And now let's draw her legs. So nice and straight in the center. I'm going to come about right here and here. I'm going to go ahead and draw an angle line for both sides. And I'm going to stop about right there because I'm giving her some tall boots. So about right there, I'm going to cut it off because I want her socks inside her boots. I'm going to pop this out. And then right here, we're going to continue. Pop it out again for her boots. And go ahead and continue this down. So it's going to get a little bit thinner as we come down towards her ankle. And about right here, I'm going to curve in for her feet. Come out on this side and curve and connect. So same thing on this side. I'm just going to draw the socks first that pops out. And then the boot. And connect there and I thought it'd be really cute <laughs> maybe on her socks you can hang these little poof balls the two of them that kind of dangle right there and one more okay so then now that we have that and let's finish the rest of her hair so I'm just going to totally simplify it and I'll just wobble my way down and same thing over here. And now for some details, you could, um, let's finish her scarf first. I almost forgot. So in this space right here, I'm just going to pop in the tails for the scarf. Put it in, maybe it has some little dangles a little bit, whatever space you have. And same thing over here. There. Bring this in a little bit more. Maybe at the bottom, we can add some detail right here on the bottom. 
and give it some lines lightly. Move some here. And her hat as well. And let's see if I'm missing anything else. And that, oh, yes, <laughs> totally forgot. Okay, first let's add a heart right here to make her my draw so cute fall girl number two. But what I wanted to add was some fall leaves on this girl right here. So let's come right here and we're going to just draw randomly draw some leaves. And I'll just try to draw some different kinds just to mix it up. And maybe one here. And here. So hopefully draw securities. You're like me and love fall. One of my favorite seasons of the year. And let's add some, maybe one fancy one right here. And the center. There. Okay, so then let's draw some that have fallen on the ground. So let's come to her feet. flatter because <laughs> it's on the crown <laughs> and okay let's just add one more and sorry before I go I realized what I should have done with these lines right here on this side is to pop them out going this way on this side and then straighter and then on this side it goes this way that way it gives a curve to her hat and so let's come in here and erase this so you can see a little bit better I was just getting pretty sloppy <laughs> at the top right there and totally forgot I should have done that so hopefully that helps you to make this look rounder so just round off curve on this side and then go this way on that side and that is pretty much it. So I really hope you love how this uh, Jurassic Cube Fall Girl number two turned out just as much as my first one and that it really inspires you uh, to draw her. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic Cube videos. See you later.